Amazon Wholesale FBA in 2024, guys. This is a complete Amazon UK tutorial, guys, for you, where I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to start your own wholesale business on Amazon UK. Everything, guys, is going to be in this video, okay? I'm going to break it down for you, so make sure to watch till the end. Also, guys, I'm going to be revealing one wholesale supply that you can go and get started with, guys, at the end of this video. So make sure to watch it, guys. Like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Welcome back again. My name is Andre Kreitzberg's. And if you're guys interested in getting started with selling on Amazon, and if you need my private FBA guide to start this business, comment word guide below this video, and I'll send it to you guys right away. Comment word guide ASAP, okay? So yeah, guys, um, thank you guys once again for following me. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And if you've been um, a long time subscriber, you would know guys that all my videos are straight to the point and I'm actually gonna be giving away some really good information in this video. No BS, no water, I'm just keeping everything real like it is guys, okay? And um, you know, I'll tell you guys how exactly you can go and start this business ASAP, okay? Also guys, if you're in for the, some kind of a mentoring fast track system, I do have all my links guys below this video available, you can go and check it out. My Amazon Mastery program used to be called FBA Mastery, now it's renamed to Amazon Mastery, it's because I'm releasing a new one right now, a new version updated version the link is below guys with my private support private telegram channel private everything guys with my own support to my students where i'm helping you guys win selling on amazon guys i'm sure you're gonna love it guys once you're in okay so let's get cracking what are we talking about we're talking about amazon fba wholesale in 2024 in this video first thing that you need to do in order to start you need to create a seller account on amazon uk that takes 20 minutes of your time 20 25 30 minutes of your time then you need also to go for the video verification which is very simple so step by step you go on this website over here click sell.amazon so sell.amazon.co.uk that's where you're gonna go okay you go on that website and you register yourself you know you just click sign up okay i'm just gonna click sign up for you guys let's see if it's gonna take because i have several amazon accounts and might not let me register oh okay, it takes me to a registration page okay so you go on and register yourself you know it, it accepts about you know how many countries are there there's like, there's like 205 countries in the world it accepts about 160 170 country, countries all of the main ones that you really need to start selling on amazon uk amazon us doesn't really matter guys okay so assume you are from uk you register yourself you pick united kingdom like this can be somewhere here at the bottom united kingdom and then you just kind of go for registration put your business you know Select your business entity, if you're LTD, if you're privately owned business, if you're a sole proprietor, if you're a sole trader, etc. Go for registration, you need a passport, your ID, you need a debit card or a credit card for a charge method because you have to put the charge method on your seller account if you want to get started selling on Amazon because they will charge you a professional selling plan subscription if you don't have enough money in your balance after you make sales. At the beginning, it's usually the first charge and then you pay from your balance, okay? Professional selling plan is different to individual selling plan because you need to be a professional selling plan. Professional seller, if you're looking to take this business seriously if you're not looking to just be individual seller who's looking to sell some stuff for around your house and etc guys you don't yeah obviously you are in this to do business right and that's why you want to have a professional selling plan um you know which is like four uh forty dollars a month in us in uk is 30 pounds a month and that's like um yeah you pretty much all settled in and you have all the extra perks subscriptions and like you have uh, you'll be able to win buy books win sales and etc you can be an individual seller if you want to but i don't recommend that because amazon does not treat you the same you won't be able to win buy books you just don't need that okay you, you know it's free but you pay 99p per each item make a sale so it only takes 30 products 30 sales to offset your professional selling plan and what is 30 sales that's nothing your job is to be selling not 30 sales that's per month that's nothing that's one sale per day your job is to be selling 30 per day at least 30 sales per day 30 40 50 to 100 200 yeah depending how big you're going to scale depending what model you're doing and with wholesale it's easy to sell 100, 200, 300 units per day if you're doing things correctly. If you're doing everything I'm going to show you guys in this video, step by step, Amazon Wholesale Guide of 2024, guys, you're going to love it. Okay, so yeah, you create a seller account, then you need your like utility bill to you know to prove your address, where you live, and etc. Like a bank statement, gas, water, electric, and etc. Simple and easy. You go through it, you register yourself. I'm not going to go for the registration phase right now because it's going to take 20, 25 minutes. Plus, I have seller accounts already. It's going to contradict, and I won't be able, I won't be able to go and register one. So you only have, allowed to have one seller account, guys, per per name, okay, per like per entity, per name, you want to 
whatever you want to call it, okay? So you make a seller account, then you have video verification, you're gonna to talk to like an Indian guy or a Filipino lady, you know, uh, like Amazon VAs, Amazon assistants, lovely people, you're gonna be speaking to them, showing them your passport, your ID, you'll be like, yeah, hi, that's me, and you got five minutes and you're done, you've done for the verification, and you're good to go, and you have your seller account set up. After this, if you wanna do wholesale, guys, you need to keep in mind that you need to be having a company, okay? Because the wholesales will simply not work with you if you don't have a company, if you don't have an LTD, if you don't have like a, a different entity type of company in UK so you can be also international company like USA European etc that's fine but you need to have a company if you're an international company they will probably ask you for the VAT number if you're from UK then that number is not necessarily straight away needed but they also they welcome you to have the VAT number as well, guys, and uh, it's going to be advantageous uh, in your behalf, you know, in your favor too, okay? So the first thing that I want to go and do, guys, you know, if you have a company, have everything set up in place, you know, VAT, VAT number as well, you can register later, like I've said, but yeah, company is a must. You need to go and start going through the actual wholesale supplies and start contacting and reaching out uh, to them, which is extremely simple thing to do. However, it requires consistency and hard work. I'm not going to tell you that, hey, you know, it's it's simple and easy. You know, finding the right wholesale is finding the right. Sorry, I'm guys, I'm going to just move my um, computer up a little bit, guys. So finding the right wholesalers, finding the right suppliers is extremely difficult because it requires consistency and hard work okay that's why uh, you know we do it all for the people guys inside my amazon automation service for example when i'm giving a wholesale setup i'm doing a fast track service i am have a done with you service where i run the stores you can go and check out the information guys regarding my amazon automation services below guys that's like if you don't want to be spending hours and days and maybe months looking for good supplies and etc sounds scary guys but if you don't have a system in place um, you know, like at the beginning, like if you only, because most people, what they do is they contact one wholesaler per day and they think they're done. Okay, that's not how it works. You need to be doing about 50, 60, 70 contactings per day of whatever it takes, whether it's email, phone, whether it's both, whether it's a mix. I recommend doing as much as possible. You always got to pick up your phone. Okay, guys, so you're going to go to a website like eSources. Or you can go to Google and just type Wholesalers UK, okay? Wholesalers UK, and then you're going to just go and simply reach out to the wholesalers that you're going to find here. Uh, we got Wholesaler Magic Supply here, whatever, Shops Murphy Wholesale. Just going to reach out to them guys and see what they're all up to, guys, okay? So basically, yeah, the website is looking a bit funky here, but I'm just, just speaking some random. MX Wholesale, a very popular free wholesale supplier. You're not going to find any good products there, guys, by the way, but they're good for ungating purposes, though, if you were looking to ungate the products okay the wholesale uk is another i think it's a directory website yeah this is another directory website you can go and pull up the wholesalers if you want to be more specific go to e-sources and then here you can go and search by the category toys grocery beauty you can go for specific brand like l'oreal and stuff like that let's just go for grocery wholesale so wholesalers in grocery okay my couple tips for you guys because i want to give you guys as much information as possible just to give you some basic stuff or go to e-sources make wholesales etc this you're going to learn a lot from this video guys so make sure to keep watching until the end okay i'm also going to show you guys one wholesaler that i'm going to recommend you guys at the end of this video okay a quick tip for you guys if you're looking for wholesalers I recommend like it, like generally health and personal category and grocery that's where you're gonna find more margin and more profit especially grocery okay I don't know why is that maybe just people don't like reselling products go out of day people don't like meltables and etc all that kind of stuff you know there's more problems with the groceries and all that I mean it's just generally this competition generally more profit to be made okay so you're gonna contact those wholesalers for example Abra Wholesale Limited Time Wholesale Services West Mill Foods for example you're gonna open them up okay and you're gonna scroll down to the information you see the tele Telephone, you see the website, you see the, um, you know, the um, uh, usually I'll be able to find email on the website. So click visit Abra Wholesale Limited. So you're going to reach out to them. Again, I don't really pay attention too much on the website anymore. I used to, I mean, used to, we still contact everything that we possibly can because, you know, your job is to be able to go and grab out a price list from them, which I will tell you guys about in a second, what is price list and etc. So your job will be to be straight away that you want to be doing is you found a phone number, okay? So you found a phone number, you want to be jumping on the phone and speaking to them and you also want to be dropping them an email. So you're going to go to this website over here. You see here, Sales Wholesalers UK. So you're going to contact them through email and you're going to send them uh, an inquiry, trade account inquiry letter. You can go and make your own trade account inquiry letter or you can um, also use my script. I do offer a free script, which kind of can give you an idea of what things you can go and email at the wholesale supplies ad. If you want to receive it guys for free from me, you have to comment the word script right now below this video and I'll be, I'll be able to go and send it to you guys, a private invite to 
to my script for free completely okay guys and um, it's also in, it's in my telegram channel as, alongside all the perks and things that I'm giving away there join my telegram channel guys by the way very important links are below guys this video you're gonna find loads of good information there as well as follow them, guys my Instagram and etc that's a great place to follow too okay so you're gonna reach out to them by email and you're also gonna pick up a phone okay don't forget guys that most people that are doing email like like they just drop an email and that's it and they those companies they get hundreds of emails every single day my, my dog just saw something they get hundreds of emails every single day and they obviously you need to be specific you need to be very specific um in contacting them so how good script will do also picking up a phone and building up those relations okay couple um this website is looking horrible it's like so red and let me just move away and just click on something nice this one here hopefully it's gonna have a nice website here time wholesale about us okay looking better simple but looks better okay so you want to contact them and tell them in return what exactly you can offer them as well in terms of like you know you can give them a return value tell them that i saw your products online i see that you're not selling on amazon i can go and move your products to amazon somehow or maybe you know they're selling on Amazon but they're not really like you know just, just tell them you know about specific products that you want to buy from them because that will show an interest like a specific direct interest that you are looking to be like a real buyer not just oh uh, lame like I want to have a trade account for you guys so I can sell on Amazon you know be specific tell them that you want to offer something in return tell them that you're looking to spend X amount of money with them every week or whatever tell them you have your own prep center you have your own shipping address where you send the products into if you're doing wholesale for example in you if, you if you're from UK you have your own house your facility your warehouse etc be specific to exactly what you want from them but however remember this that they you know they want your business when you speak into them on a the phone they want your business and they are interested in you as much as you're interested in them so if they're not looking to sell to you to amazon sellers and etc then yeah i mean uh, it's fine just move away okay also good thing would be to get your own website on a shopify platform or something like this we do create websites by the way for like it's like a like a like a website card like it's gonna be like it's gonna have like a cart in there like a shopping checkout everything is gonna be all connected so it looks like you have a website and you're looking to sell products on the website not just being an e-commerce not just be like a, um, you know, a lame, a, a, not, not lame, but don't just be like an Amazon seller because there are a lot of Amazon sellers these days who are contacting marketplace sellers who are looking to sell the products online on different marketplaces like eBay and Amazon, okay? Tell them exactly you're an e-commerce seller. Don't tell them that you're an Amazon seller. That's my best thing as well, guys, that you can uh, go and, uh, and tell them on the phone, okay? Okay, you want to do email, you want to pick up the phone and you want to call them and you want to speak to them and you simply want to go and, um, you, know, um, you know, give them a bit of a communication and tell them you need a trade account also when you're talking about the trade account make sure that they offer a price list okay a price list of the products that you can go and simply scan because you can simply go and uh, put in a special tool that's going to scan the products in bulk for you put it against amazon and you'll be able to go and see what's profitable what's not profitable okay because some of those wholesalers they are like outdated they're old and they don't do price list with the ein code so prices with the upc or ein codes there are tools i will attach a tool recommendation to my price list scanner below this video guys that you can go and basically put in the i'm going to show you what the price list looks like so this is an example of a wholesaler um, and this is an example of a uh, price list that basically um, you can get from a uh, wholesale which looks like this like a barcode unit code here you got a product code which basically goes against the website they have a trade price they have a retail price and put like that and then you see if it's profitable if it's good you got to do your analysis and etc they should be giving you something like this if they don't give you a price list you know they i wouldn't say they're crap we're still going through those um, wholesalers we still go through them if we have time they're kind of like they are on the on a on a back seat we we keep them as an emergency and i tell my vas my virtual assistants i don't do any of this myself guys okay i teach how to outsource and how to hire vas inside my amazon mastery program guys by the way that's an essential part if you want to be doing 50 60 70 contactings per day you need to have a system unless you have seven eight hours a day of your own time I'm not saying it's going to take you seven eight hours but it's going to take you some time to go through you know contact you know it's tedious work it's hard work you can hire assistant and pay them like 300 dollars a month 250 pounds per month and they're going to work for you full time that's something i highly recommend doing okay but let's not talk about it right now guys okay so um yeah you're going to go through the price list and um you're going to see what's profitable what's not profitable and usually uh, if it, the website 
doesn't have prices, the, the trade, uh, the wholesale doesn't have price, they, they don't have price list. You can go and uh, search for them manually, but it's just going to take a lot of time. You need the system uh, in order to do that. Okay, guys. So yeah, um, if that's the f next thing you do. Okay. So after they give you a price list, you know, you, you be like, Hey, yeah. Uh, you know, they tell you they have prices. They'll make you a trade account. You have your login, your, your password and etc. And then you'll be able to go and pick uh, the profitable products you want to, you want to go and buy. And then you're going to go and simply send them to a place called a, a prep center. Okay. A prep center, which is basically a special facility guys. I'm just, just randomly typed in Google, guys. I have a prep center recommendation, guys, for you. Uh, I'll be attaching the link, guys, to my prep center um, up north of the UK, in north of the UK, uh, right there below, guys, which you can go and use. So all the products, you really don't want to be shipping them to your own um, uh, house because they're going to come in pallets and etc. You pick the products, you ship them to the preps, and they'll do all the repacking, the labeling, sending it off to Amazon FBA. But what exactly do you choose? How exactly do you choose the products? Okay, so you'll be able to go and sort them out through the price list, and after you find like, hey, it's gonna show, it's gonna show you basically the profits. I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to scan the prices right now, guys, because it's gonna take me some time right now. But it's gonna show you in the price list, like when you put the price list in the tool, it's gonna show you the profits. And then let's say you found a product. For example, guys, let me guys show you a quick product example right now, okay? So I've got the uh, wholesale supply called ABG. Here is a, just a random product that I found for $13.99, okay? I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's profitable or not right now, but here is a link to it on Amazon for $27.99. It gives you the recommended retail price of $13.99. In wholesale, I think we bought this one for like 13, 14 pounds before. So you gotta create your account, it'll give you the wholesale price. And it gives you the recommended price here, SRP, suggested the retail price. That's what it stands for, okay? So $13.99, okay? We're gonna go and be able to buy this item for like, let's say it was like $13.40 or something like that. So we're gonna go and pull this into here. It sells 379 times per month. That's per variation. It's a big variation. So let's say this item sells like 30, 40 times, depending, you have to go and check which variation does better and etc. So it gives you a 1340 of a retail price, 2799 is of a sell price. It gives you 625 of a profit, okay? Guys, by the way, that's a wholesaler. I was telling you guys about earlier in this video. That's a wholesaler I recommend to begin with. ABG, they don't have a lot of stock, but if you can find some, you can find some profitable items, examples there, guys, you can make your first buy. Also, their MOQ, which is minimum order quantity, is very, very, very uh, low. I think it's like 250 pounds. Excuse me, guys. It's not a lot. 250 pounds. That's all you have to spend to make an order from them and then ship it to the prep center for you guys. So it's only 250 quid, okay? So yeah, you know, you found the product, guys, potentially, okay? You need to understand what sells, what doesn't sell, of course. We have the seller amp extension, which helps you to understand whether the item is going to be, you know, whether it's good. You know, it shows the sales, shows the BSR, the best sellers ranking as well. It shows we can put the cost, we can put the sale price, and we can have estimate profit. Profit here, which is the net margin, and we have the ROI, which is return on, an, on investment, okay? So here, the BSR, 5K, 1%. That's something you got to go and pay attention to, guys, okay? If you're going to scroll down, you know, wholesale, Amazon wholesale, Amazon with Amazon wholesale FBA, you have to keep in mind that we don't advertise anything. We go by what's called the best sellers ranking. So we resell products that are selling already on Amazon and are doing well. We simply go by the best sellers ranking by um, you know what's available in a rank. Okay. So the lower the the num the lower the number is in the actual category toys and games, the better the item is selling. Okay. How do we know what number we should go for? How do we know how many items in the category? Well, I'll give you guys a sheet to use, which looks like this it's a free sheet okay we have the amazon us sales rank chart we got the canadian one we got the mexican one we got the uk one i do have videos guys on the amazon us wholesale on my youtube channel guys as well i teach amazon us and amazon uk but you know i just push out more content for uk on this channel because it does better than a way so uk amazon sales rank chart guys here we've got different categories here available toys and games right here at the bottom we have six million two hundred seventy three nine hundred forty eight products and we have, that's total, we've got top 25%, top 10, 5, 3, 1, 0 0.5 at the top. And basically, this tells us how good the item is selling. If the item, if the number is lower, that's, you know, the item is selling better. If it's top 3% of the rank, that's everything that is ranked, uh, ranked under 188,218. If it's under, um, zero, if under 1%, it goes anything under 62,739. 
31,370 number and below, that's in top 0.5% of the ranking. This particular item, guys, that we found right here that I'm just showing you as an example, not this one over here, which, where, where was it? Okay, this is Britain's uh, tractor. 4,753. As 0.5% is 30,000, 31,000. Okay, so we know that item is well below 0.5 because it's ranked, uh, it's ranked under 5,000 in ranking. Oh, that's amazing, guys. You know, that's a good product to go for, guys. Okay, it, this one is subject to checking if the variation is okay as well because you have to look at the variation, guys. I'm not going to bullshit you here, guys. I'm going to tell you how it is. You got to check the variation. There is specific ways on how to check variation, but I'm not going to do it right now. You have to check keeper chart and etc., which goes like this, shows the history of the item, okay? You also got to make sure if the Amazon, Amazon is selling on it, actually, which is not a really good thing. So, um, you know, you have to check, um, you know, I got to log in to my keeper. I'm logged out right now. So you got to check, uh, you know, this is just an example, guys, of an item. Just put it against for you. I'm not saying it's a good item right now, but we used to buy it for like 13 and sold it for like 28. And I don't think Amazon was was here before. I'm not sure. We can check the history. Yeah, you see in the times here, Amazon was not here. You see, Amazon, you know, the orange mark, orange basically orange cover is Amazon. White is Amazon was not here. You see, we're selling for 33, 37. So uh, you know, I think we bought it around this time, like in 2022, whatever, guys. I've been selling on Amazon since 2013, guys, and teaching guys how to become successful. As well. By the way, guys, if you're looking for a private step by step guide to start selling on Amazon, comment word guide right now. Don't forget to do it, guys. Okay, also for the wholesale script, comment word script and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, as always. Okay, hopefully, guys, you're learning a lot. Okay, step by step, make a seller account and go to Google, type wholesalers, search for wholesalers in UK. And you can go to eSources, you know, very common website. That's where you can start looking at for wholesalers. There are different methods applied. You can go through Amazon as well. You can do reverse search using Jungle Scout, but that's too advanced. I'm not talking about it right now, guys, especially on my YouTube channel. Leave that for my mentoring and etc. But this is information is enough for you guys to get going with the Amazon Wholesale FBA in 2024, okay? Then after you found the products, you're gonna go and make a purchase at the wholesaler and you send them off to the prep center, like I already said, okay? You can use um, ABG as a wholesale supplier. You can find all the wholesalers, guys, if you really want to, okay, guys? And the process is very simple. You make a trade account, you get a price list, you see what's profitable, what's not profitable, okay? You pick your, based on your criteria, whether your ROI is good, whether your margin is good for yourself. Some people go for the lower ROI for the lesser margin, and they just do volume. They just like to buy more products and just do less profit. I'm not a big fan of this strategy, guys. I'll give you a couple of tips that you can go and use right now as well, okay? So go try to go for products that have less sales and they will typically have less competition and more profit to be made, guys, okay? Because the way it works is very simple. The more item is selling, the more lucrative it is to the crowd, to the audience, and basically it's gonna be both more several times and there's gonna be more competition in general, guys. Also, guys, if you have, see, if you see certain products that the stock is left like 10, 12, 30, or whatever, 50, like low stock, that's a good sign and try to take all the remaining stock as long as the item is looking very good to you, okay? If you're a true beginner, you know, I advise to not buy, like not, not to overbuy the quantity, like maybe like keep your quantity low, like, you know, buy like 10, 20 units of each item. Again, it depends how many items you can go and find at the wholesaler, guys, because some wholesalers, you know, you'll be able to find like a couple items, but they have like MOQ of like 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds. And then you need to spend like 500 or 2,000, you know, pounds on, um, you know, on one particular, you know, on one particular item or two particular items, guys, which is definitely not going to be a good option, especially if you are a beginner guys okay guys if you do have any questions do let me know in the comments okay but that's the concept in general okay the success in this industry the success in amazon wholesale industry it heavily depends on the consistency and how much of a repetition of uh, how, how much repetition you apply to certain tasks within your business okay you gotta have a lot of repetition to contacting contacting the more the better it's good to have virtual assistants uh, added to your store and you know have, have a couple of VAs this is called investing into yourself if you're doing wholesale because wholesale you need more budget than doing online arbitrage okay if you guys are looking for online arbitrage guide it's going to come up in the top right corner go and check it out that's where you start and you're buying from online retailers that's where you're buying from the online vendors and you that's where you basically you know spend less and you kind of start yourself on the retail side of things wholesale I would say two three thousand pounds and plus you need you know to get yourself started you know, to get yourself going guys 
And um, you know, the more the better. Five, ten, twenty thousand, absolutely amazing budget, guys. You can grow and obviously make a lot more money that way. You can buy more products, you have more buying power, and it's just a better way to go, guys. Okay, if you're struggling with wholesale. You can always reach out to me, guys, okay? Uh, links below, guys, to my Amazon automation service. Like I told you guys already, with the full setup packages, we give you wholesalers that we have ourselves that are good, and we give you a full setup. We give you a full run for 30 days, 90 days, and etc., guys. So there's a lot of good options available with ourselves for the wholesale model, both in the UK and the US. Hopefully, guys, you found this video useful. I'm going to be wrapping this up, guys. I wanted to keep this under 30 minutes, as always. Hopefully, guys, you've picked up some value. You've learned something. you got a wholesaler here for me, guys, you can go and simply use. And, um, you know, hopefully, guys, you're going to, uh, yeah, it's going to be extremely valuable for you. And then you can kickstart your business. You can say thank you to me that you saw my video and be like, hey, Andre, you made me a, you made me a start on this. And um, the concept is very simple. Create an account, make a company, make a company first, create an account, an account under the company, under LTD, whatever, under the, whatever company you want. And then start looking for the wholesales, reaching out to them, consistency, build up your list, build up your products list, build up your wholesale supplies. You only need like two or three good wholesalers to actually go and make two, three, four, or five thousand pounds a month in profit that's it guys okay anyway i've talked enough for today guys thank you guys once again for your attention comment word guide comment word script like and subscribe to this video and make sure to spread this out share it with your friends with your audience whatever guys you have whoever's interested to start running an amazon business and check out the links guys below my video as well hopefully guys you found it useful i'm speaking to you guys very soon on my youtube channel with more awesome amazon uk not just amazon uk also amazon us and all the other good stuff and content all right guys speak to you soon bye bye